Hey guys, it's Preston. We're back with another video. Don't know how good the lighting is, but this video is going to be about what I bring on my kayak, my kayak milk set, crate setup, and just a few tips and tricks I've learned over the past few years of me kayak fishing. So let's get on into the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, it'd be awesome. We just hit 100 subscribers um, on my birthday last week. Um, if you haven't seen last, um, my most recent video, y'all go check that out. Try to smash five likes on this video, that'd be awesome. Comment below what you want to see. Um, so let's go ahead and get on into the video. Okay, so, we're just gonna, my fishing bag right now, here, I don't know if this is in the shot. I hope I am. Okay, I am. Okay, so, let's get on into the video. So, I have just a, a regular kayak milk, or just a regular milk crate. Um, on the side I have a dog tag with an American flag, I don't really know how I have that. I have a few bungees on the sides just in case I need them just for anything. So I, there's no special order in here or how I organize it, I just have it all in here just in case. Uh, so first I keep a lot of soft plastics in here, I'm trying not to hook myself. Keep a lot of soft plastics in here. Gulp. 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 And then downside lures. Main lures I throw for salt water. Um, next thing I have in here is this tackle box right here. Um, my soft plastics tackle box. If you haven't seen that tackle video, I'll go watch that. Um, also, I will keep a few top waters in here and just a few other lures that I know I'm going to want to use that day on the water. Um, I'm making this video right now because it is early It is early winter. It's already pretty cold. Today is November 1st. Um, it's already, already pretty cold outside. It's been in the 40s lately. Um, I'm, i got to film this video, then i got to go downstairs and watch the World Series because I live down here in Houston. Go Astros. Uh, last game tonight, so I'll be winning. So I'm going to edit this video while we're watching that. So this is just the stuff I bring on the kayak, like a box, not like a day box almost. And it is winter time, so y'all will see me on kayak a lot, like, uh, a lot more. Fresh and salt water. Probably more salt water than fresh. I don't know if I'm going to do any freshwater kayak videos. I might with my friends. But mostly saltwater kayak videos, especially right now because the flounder run has started. Um, so let's keep on going. Next, I bring this box. Same box as that, it's just a little bit smaller. Both Plano waterproof tackle boxes. And y'all have seen this box before. It's got my jig heads and all my hooks and stuff in it. Um, next, I like to have a good pair of fish grips with me because, especially if you're keeping and not keeping fish you want to be able to hold them the right way and be able to what's it handle them the right way so they don't die and that you don't take the slime coat off of them especially trout and flounder uh, if you're not going to keep them but if not I still use these to make sure they don't flop out of the boat because that sucks when you have a nice fish and they flop out of the kayak um, so just a nice pair of fish grips I usually keep plastic ones in here I don't have any right now I need to go out and buy more. Um, next thing I keep in here is this. Now this, what this is, is it's a first aid kit. Um, it's waterproof, just a little box. I don't know where I got it. I keep knife in here. I keep extra cord. This goes to my anchor, but you, it's paracord. You can use it for anything. And I keep bandages and all that in here. And then I also have bought some ibuprofen today. I'm going to put that just in my fishing bag. And just in case I get, don't feel good out in the water or anything like that, I need to keep that in there. Next thing I like to keep in here is a good aerator. Especially if I'm fishing with live bait like live shrimp, live mullet, live mud minnows. Always want to have an aerator. But I also do have a kayak or one of those little bait holders that you do put in the water, but I don't really like dragging that because it like holds the kayak up and you don't always have to pick it out of the water and that's 
a good one for fish to die. But at the same time, those vibrate the kayak and it can scare fish. Every single time I go anywhere saltwater fishing, I always keep this thing with me. And that's my popping cork. Um, right now it's just a regular hook on it because I was fishing live shrimp this weekend. Y'all go check that video out. It's my most recent video. Um, I will fish this with gulp and any kind of live bait I can get. I fish mullet with this, mud minnows, croaker. I've caught everything on popping corks. That's what I catch most of my fish on besides lures. So, love popping corks. I usually keep more than one. I only have one right now because I've lost a few just on rocks and shell where the boat can't go up there and get them or I've lost them to big fish. Next thing I keep is a stringer. You always want to have a good quality stringer, especially if you are keeping fish. Um, you don't want the fish to really die on you. If you want to, you can bring an ice chest with ice in it. It would keep the fish more fresh, but this will keep them alive a little bit longer until you can get back. Sometimes they do die if they're gill hooked or anything like that. Sometimes they just die. Um, I do have a ice chest down there. It's kind of small. I might use that every once in a while. Don't really know. So, getting towards the end of this, next thing I bring, good pair of pliers. You want to have a good pair of pliers just in case you gut hook them or you just can't get the hook out because it's in there real good. Or you can keep a good pair of hook outs. These are longer ones. These are Berkeley brand and they're minor broken. I don't have the spring anymore so they don't like keep going back. Mm -hmm. Next, I bring a good knife. This is Sir's Paula Flay Knife. I just found this recently. It's pretty good. Uh, I really like this knife. I haven't really used it too much. I have that, like, wooden handle. Oh, hell. I don't want to get it out. I know it's hard to put in. Wooden handle one in there um, that I bring in my bag, and that's what I've been using to fly fish. Really tired. Um, I bring some of these little shakers, especially if I'm fishing with croaker. Um, that's the end of that. Um, other stuff I do bring with me on my kayak is a life vest. That's with my kayak at the bay house right now. Life vest, whistle. Um, I have a knife in my life vest with pliers on it just in case I need it for anything. If I get caught up on something or I just need it, like if I fall in and get tangled on something, that would be a good situation. Uh, I also have, like I said, a whistle because you're supposed to have one. I have a light, but I don't have it with me. I don't know where it is. I need to find it and get it out. But I usually don't leave whenever it's dark or really early. I usually leave like mid morning. Um, I have a thing over there I bring, and it keeps my phone dry. It's a waterproof thing. I also have an anchor on my kayak. I'll show you all that whenever we get over there. I have rod holders. Um, I have all that on my kayak already. Um, and then the reels I'm going to bring on my kayak with me, or I already do, is my spinning rod. I throw the cork on that or live bait on it, um, just about anything. I always bring my spinning rod with me. And then I'm going to start bringing my new Inception, 13 Fishing Inception. Um, 8.1 gear, uh, one gear ratio. Uh, this thing cast a mile. This thing is amazing. And then I got a Ducket fishing rod on it. Ducket Go Series. It's a 7.6 extra heavy rod. I really like it. Been th I threw a jig on it today. Cut like one bass. I think I was out there for like 15 minutes. Um, also, and then it's got 30 pound Power Pro braid on it. Um, I had 17 pound mono, which is in my bag. I also bring that on my milk crate in case I tie leaders. Um, I have 10 pound mono in there with a bunch of extra popping corks. But I also I bought this recently just because I needed some. Just wanted to throw in reels if I ever needed or anything like that. It's just Premier Plus. So just in case I need to have a heavier leader if I'm fishing for bigger redfish or big, big anything pretty much, like Spanish mackerel, um, 
if I know I'm going to get hung up a lot. I want to use like heavier line. I also bring my camera equipment. Um, what else do I bring? My GoPro, I bring, I don't really bring this camera up. I bring extra SD cards, floating grip, um, head mount, other stuff. I just ordered something on Amazon for my GoPro. It's an accessory kit with a carrying case so I can put my camera in there and stuff. My GoPro. It's got like a floating handle, which I have. It's got a chest pe or chest strap. I need one of those. It has a head mount. I already have one of those, but I need a new one. I, it comes with a bunch of accessories, too. Um, also, I am on my high school fishing team, which I'm very excited about that. So y'all be ready for that. I fish saltwater and freshwater tournaments. Joey, that was in two videos ago, the video We Failed Hard. Um, he is my partner for the team. He has like f two or three boats. He just got a Mako boat, so that's pretty cool. So we're going to use that for saltwater, probably for freshwater too. I don't know too much about the lakes we are fishing. God, I'm sorry. Um, I don't really know too much about the lakes we're fishing, but I know we're fishing in Galveston for the saltwater tournament, so I will film those. Um, like I said, hit the subscribe button, like the video, let's get five likes, comment below what you want to see. Um, I'm trying to hit a thousand subs before next year. It's kind of hard. I just hit a hundred and we have two months. Maybe we can just hit 500, but whenever we hit 500 subs, I think I'm going to do a giveaway. And if not, I'll do it whenever we hit a thousand subs. Anyway, guys, I hope y'all did enjoy this video. Um, I might do a fish tank video. I'm probably going to try to, I'm probably going to buy a fish tank and put fish and stuff in it. We have one downstairs right now, but it's kind of small. So. Don't really know yet. So, anyway. Y'all be ready for more videos. I will be uploading more very soon. Y'all stay tuned. I'm going to go edit this video and watch the World Series because it actually started 10 minutes ago. But I hope y'all enjoyed. I will see you next video. Peace.